Good morning, guys. Don't know how good I'm trying to I'm trying to do this with front facing with the GoPro. So I don't know how good it's going to be. But uh, welcome to Precisely Guessing. We're going to start today off. It's a uh, Fourth of July weekend, and we have lots and lots and lots and lots of projects to work on. So not 100% sure what I'm going to be working on today. But one of them involves, at the very least, taking that block that's down there up and possibly getting it checked out and worked on not gonna work on that because we're having troubles finding cams for it um and then if we walk outside i'll open up the garage here we have many different trucks that we could work on today don't know for sure which one will be worked on but i'm thinking we're gonna do something with the 74 because I sold the green half ton that you guys saw in a bunch of videos. So this is now my daily driver when I'm not driving my work truck. And it just needs a few things. The engine runs really strong, the trans is still really good, but the steering box has a ton of play in it, even though all of the steering linkage and everything is all brand new, the steering box is not. And then uh, brakes could probably use some work, the exhaust could use some work, the interior could really use some work because that's my radio right there and uh yeah so we'll we'll see what all happens today that red oh you guys haven't even seen that yet there's a red chevy up there that i got that needs some work as well and we'll we'll get a little bit more detail on that at the very least so let me get some stuff all loaded up out of this pigsty of a garage and we'll head up to the parking lot trim's dad's house and uh and i'll see you up there all right guys i just wanted to get you a little glimpse of what it's like driving this truck right now with all the windows closed and all the doors all the way shut as far as they can go i don't know how windy it is on the camera but it's pretty windy i have the radio off but having the radio on doesn't do a whole lot of good and then you can see i'm driving on a straight road got a pretty decent amount of play in the steering so and if you look right up in here you can see light through the door and that's because it's not latching properly because the hinge pins are worn out and the weather strip is worn out and a bunch of other stuff so we're gonna try and take care of at least a few of those things today Probably not going to get to the exhaust today, probably not going to get to some other stuff that I had on the list, but I'd like to make it a little bit nicer to drive, because it kind of sucks right now. So, Millie. We're up here, just made it. As you can see, there's just stuff everywhere, like there always is. And uh, I'm going to show you guys this 90 Chevy that I was talking about. I've done some some work to it. I'll try and throw some video in of what I did to it before I got it running, but I've done a lot to it that wasn't on camera, so kind of just is what it is. It's a decent looking truck. It has some body cancer here and there, but uh, the biggest thing that I did to it was that now it runs. Not the greatest. shift into gear it doesn't die which is one of the problems it was having before but we'll let this run for a minute and once it gets warm it's just it'll smoke everything out out here it's ridiculous so it needs lots and lots of engine work but it needs lots and lots of other work before that the brakes pretty much don't work throttle body needs rebuilt uh, on top of you know exhaust and some, some suspension stuff and uh, and whatnot. And I don't really want to let this run until it gets warm, but maybe we'll do it in another video where you can see it smoking. But it's kind of a kind of a cool truck. I like it. I got it super cheap, and uh, 
I got it super cheap a while ago and just haven't done anything with it. And now, now is the time. But I think we're going to work more on the 74 today than the 90. Because this needs major, major repairs. That just needs a bunch of stuff to make me like it a little more. So, here we go. This is what we're dealing with. So, you can see in here that my hinge is broken. Okay, so that's problem one. Problem two is the sheet metal is cracked back there. So that's problem number two. Problem number three is the pins themselves are worn out, which I can't really show you because I'm not Mr. He-Man. Problem number four is if you look at this weather stripping, it is just not the greatest down here. I'm not gonna be able to save it. Um, and then this guy right here has been ground away a little bit. So we're gonna go up on the hill and look at all the Chevy parts we got up there and do what we can. Might not be perfect, but it'll be enough to keep me from having to slam the door like that. And you can see the body line is way off. So we'll correct that, get this gap a little bit smaller maybe fix it over here a little bit it'll, it'll make it slightly better i don't expect it to be perfect it's a 74 but and i mean obviously the doors have seen better days this this door's not as bad as the passenger side passenger side it's got this big dent in it it's got bigger rust holes in it this mirror has been ripped off like five or six times and it's kind of i think it's just self-tapped in there right now and then the window seals are garbage all the way around it as well um again we're just we're, we're making slight improvements today nothing nothing crazy that's that we are up here at the donor truck we got another cab there but i'm gonna try not to take anything off that cab that one is the father-in-law's this one is mine though and it is it is it has seen some better days what originally happened to this truck was it was a good running truck and the guy I bought it from slid it into a curb and sheared the whole hub and everything off the left side of the rear axle. And then somebody took the engine out and miscellaneous other parts. So I think today, but it was, again, it was a good running driving truck. So we're going to take brake booster and master off today. We're going to take these hinges off because they're still good and actually the hinge pins in them seem pretty good i have new ones but we'll we'll see once i get them off and there's no weather stripping on this side there is weather stripping on the passenger side I might steal that i might try and steal this stuff around the windows as well because it's kind of screwed up on the 74 might try and steal this one i don't think that's super possible but might might give it a shot we'll see um i don't know if you noticed there's vice grips on my passenger side window and that was not something i put on there that was something somebody else put on there so it ruined that anvil so i was hoping that this one was good but i don't think that one's any good either so we will see um probably going to take some other miscellaneous parts out of here but for now we're going to focus on driver's side door and then we'll We'll move on we also got to take the montana mud flaps off of it and put them on my truck because mine has some not montana mud flaps on it and uh i've been in montana for 10 years or so and uh i don't know if you guys know how montanans feel about out-of-staters but it's not not good so we're gonna stick some montana mud flaps on my truck solve some of my issue without further ado here we go See, they still even got little nylons 
in the bottom hinge and in the top hinge spring isn't cracked or broken and this piece that's broken on mine is still in really good shape so there's a little bit of wobble in the top top pin so we might just go ahead and do them we might not I don't know yet we'll see So if you guys look at this, you can see I got some other cracks to deal with right there. And then right here, we got to somehow deal with that. So I'm going to do the best I can. Probably not going to be perfect, but we're going to try and make it better. So here goes nothing. Can't get up in the morning. like now it's not the prettiest but I'm gonna paint it and it'll look much better at least all the cracks are gone or at least all the ones I could find there was cracks everywhere 
And then this is what the door side looks like. There wasn't any cracks down here. But we got these ones taken care of for the most part. This one in here is probably gonna crack again. But this one, I put three or four layers on and I think that one's good. That one is just a little difficult to get into and then clean up and make it smooth. So we'll see. But now we can paint it and start putting it all back together. Swing it, don't you forget! I've gotta find a new purpose Something actually worth it I wanna look in the mirror and like what I see I'm sick of feeling so worthless You wanna see the swing? I'm gonna go down swinging Look deep within I get lost in the feeling This is what we've got all bolted on we had to put spacers right there to get everything to line up and everything back on the seal is still destroyed we also adjusted our pin and we put a nice bushing on there this is bushing out of something for the snowmobile but it fits perfectly and doesn't get too much better than that for how screwed up this door was we're a little close with our review right there and it gets wider towards the bottom but I don't think this fender was ever properly aligned and everything's a little bit screwed up but our body line here is good body line here is okay enough and most importantly the weather stripping is actually touching the door all the way of this got a little gap right there but it's a hell of a lot closer until the very bottom. But for an old weather stripping, it's definitely much, much, much better. And you don't have to slam the door to shut it anymore. So we're also gonna replace this thing, I think, because there's a good one of those in that truck up there. So that's what's next. I'm going off, I know it's time to make a change And I can take the pain, yeah. wanna see the swing. I'm gonna go down swinging deep within. I get lost in the feeling I just need a win. I'm gonna find my meaning I can make a change, I wanna play the game You wanna yeah. sink or swim I'm gonna go down swinging Look deep within I get lost in the feeling I just need a win. I'm going off, I know it's time to make a change And I can take the pain You wanna yeah. sink or swim I'm gonna go down swinging Look deep within I Taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take the new song And you cannot save me Cause I don't need saving It's everything I've been chasing all here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts People who are half nuts You are not as tough as <laughs> Alright guys, sorry I stopped the video But it started kind of pouring down rain And lightning and thunder And all kinds of stuff here for a little bit We didn't get this door fixed But we got a new mirror on here we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but I didn't get to it yet. But I had to do that side because I couldn't see it all. We got the steering box tightened up, which is not the right way to fix it, but it's the way that we're gonna fix it for now. We got some 
new mud flaps on there. There's some track from an old snowmobile we had. So those are done. And then I put a window crank handle I had laying around on here just because it's a crappy one. I have the matching one that I have over there, but I'm pretty sure this anvil is going to strip out this handle. And I don't want to ruin the good one, so uh, we're going to replace that at some point as well. But for now, that's in there. We replaced, let's walk over to the other side. We replaced this nice window here so it opens and closes the way it should now. And when it's closed, it's 99% sealed. Same with this. We didn't mess with that really at all, but we did lube up all of the internals here, put this handle back on, put a new piece of foam in there, put a new spacer in there, redid all of our hinges in there. I also replaced this piece with a good one. Look how nicely that window rolls up and down. So nice. And that door shuts so nice too. And there we are. Thanks for watching.